Welcome to On We See Vegan. Welcome back to Monday Mukbang. My name's John. And I am Jessica. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, well, I guess today I am, I, I'm, I'm doing a little uh, carrot peeling uh, on, t on camera. How about that? I'm showing off my fresh haircut. We had a really big lunch, like really big lunch, like 1100 calorie lunch. So I'm not super hungry. I don't think you're super hungry. Nope, no, I'm not. And I had this container of celery that I chopped up, I don't know, like three or four days ago because I was hankering for this mixed nut butter. This is a dry roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans. I think that's all that's in here. Oh, and with salt, it's got salt in it. But this is a Trader Joe's um, mixed nut butter. It's really good. And I had bought this um, last time I went to the grocery store last weekend. Well, hello, Buttercup. When we went to the grocery store last weekend, uh, or two weeks ago, I'm sorry, it's been two weeks since we bought this celery and those carrots. John was like, I need some carrots. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get some celery too, because I knew I had this nut butter. This nut butter is really good. And uh, I chopped it up earlier this week and it's, it's honestly getting a little soft. Like some of the pieces are very, very soft. So I am eating celery and my nut butter and John's eating just plain old carrots. I am. Mm -hmm. I guess, but I'm drinking cashew almond milk. From, from, from silk. silk. Chocolate. Chocolate, and it's pretty good. He had a bottle of silk soy, right? Chocolate soy? Yeah, the dark chocolate soy, not really. That you liked, that you got at Walmart. Yeah. But we got this one at Target and they didn't have the soy. They did. I'm drinking Friendly Farms Unsweetened Almond Vanilla. Vanilla almond milk. So, that's what's in this glass and then I have a glass of water as well. Because this nut butter, because it's so many different nuts, it's actually very sweet. It's actually very sweet. So, we have kind of a serious topic today. Um, I posted a mukbang last week that was just me. That I talked about how I lost basically 65 pounds. I'm actually even more down now. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. down... 71 pounds now um, and I talked about how I've gone lower carb and right. I know that there are two schools of thought in the vegan community one is high carb low fat and one is low carb high fat yeah. and it seems like most vegans go the high carb route right um, I, and we found that in most of the product as like mm -hmm. when we look at when we look at vegan products that is yeah Primarily, you're gonna get a lot of high carb stuff. Yeah, like even these carrots are high in carb. Higher carb. Yeah. As far as the vegetable goes. But we got a couple of comments on that video that were very concerned about going low carb. I, we got one comment in particular that was very concerned with us saying we were gonna go low carb. Maybe it wasn't that video, but we got a comment in the last week. It might have been on a different video. Um, cause I think it was one that had John and I both in it, um, where someone commented that they were very concerned about us going low carb and that that causes a lot of health problems and so on and so forth. And I was referred to the, um, actually some of the books I showed you in last week's video or the two weeks, two weeks ago video. I'm not sure. I filmed both those videos in the same day, but I showed you that I have some of Dr. Bernard's books on diabetes. Um, but oh. Buttercup really likes carrots. Yes. Neither one of our dogs likes celery. No. Wednesday likes carrots, but not as much as Buttercup. Wednesday. But I know that, or at least I think, that a lot of the vegan community goes high carb. So I've been doing a lot of testing on my blood sugar. I test my blood sugar every day. 
I know what foods trigger my blood sugar and what sweets trigger my blood sugar. Um, I haven't waded back into like pastas or breads or anything like that. I've stayed away from those still. But I can eat carrots, they don't raise my blood sugar. I can eat potatoes, they don't raise my blood sugar. At least in, you know, certain amounts. Right. Like I'll eat a half a cup of potatoes. I don't think I've eaten more than a half a cup. Since starting it. Since starting lower carb. So I'm not sure if I eat a lot of potatoes if it would spike my blood sugar. But I know that if I eat a half a cup or less. You're okay. It, it doesn't spike my blood sugar. But. We're talking about that because. So many. Butter foods in the vegan world are high carb and although since I changed my diet my what I saw a piece of carrot flew up in the air yeah um the amount of vegetables that I eat on a regular basis so we've been completely open and honest with you guys we've never been vegan our channel is called Omni's Eat Vegan um, the beginning of 2018, I was vegetarian for four to five months. Um, but we've never been vegan. And we've not ever, we've gotten multiple comments, people asking us, are you vegan yet? Have you gone vegan yet? When are you going vegan? And we always say that, no, we are not vegan. No, we are not going vegan. We have not gone vegan. And we've never, we've never even insinuated that we were going full vegan. We've considered it, I think, a couple of times, but we've never taken that, that jump, that leap. No. I was doing vegetarian because I viewed that kind of as like a first step to see if I could manage it and then go mm -hmm. vegan full, full time um, after I went vegetarian. And I could do vegetarian. Um, my, my biggest downfall is cheese. I've said it on multiple videos that we've posted over the last three years. Actually, I think this video is posting the week we hit three years. So I think our first video was March 15th, I think, maybe March 14th of, think, yeah. of 2016, I think was our first video. Um, so this week is our three year anniversary. But Actually, I'm going to look it up. I'm, I'm curious now what, when our first video was posted. Um, but in the last three years, we've gone through a lot of changes. Right. And... Like... Um, go ahead. When we talk about changes, I mean, we started uh, Obviously Vegan. I don't know that... I mean... I really never... I mean, because my grandparents always raised cattle or raised milk cows. I never really thought of ever. I mean, I drank, I drank soy milk. Uh, yeah, because your mom used to do soy milk. Yes, as a, as a to, she, she forced me. Oh, it's February twenty seventh. We posted our first video February twenty seventh. Uh huh. Sorry. Butter. And oh, then. I before I. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you. February twenty no, seventh of twenty sixteen. That was our in the beginning video. And then our very first taste test video is our highest viewed video. It's our vegan taste test, non-dairy milk. And we posted that video on March 15th. Yeah, it was March 15th. So almost three, three years to the, to the day. This Friday will be three years. So I'm sorry, you were saying that you, you had never really drank soy milk. Yeah, I never some. really drank almond milk. Yeah. I mean, when we did that video, Mm-hmm. And I don't know, probably countless others after that. Yes. At least four or five milk videos. Yeah. And now, I mean. We don't drink dairy milk anymore. We don't drink dairy milk anymore. No, does that make me vegan? No. I, like I've said, my biggest weakness is cheese. I really like cheese, but go ahead. But I hope that the people that watch us understand that or hopefully, hopefully they're uh, they can understand where we're coming from and that uh, we are omnivores mm -hmm. that we don't 
we don't, uh, I'm not gonna not try something because it's it's vegan. I'm going to, actually, We've now, actually run into that with some of our family members. Right, that they won't. Uh, and it doesn't make, it never made sense. Where we'll have them over and we'll make vegan burgers. And we'll make regular burgers for them too, but we'll make vegan burgers and they'll be like, is this vegan? Yeah. Oops. And that's, I'm, to me, with all the, all the stuff that goes on with your diet and, you know, the, the old adage is you are what you eat and I, I don't know, I guess I'd rather be, I'd rather just be healthy, I guess. Uh, that being said, I mean, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where you're going with it either. That's why I'm just kind of letting you ramble. Okay. Well, I was hoping to just give you a little time to eat your stuff, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't know. I like eating vegan. I mean, I like vegan food. I should say it that way. I guess, I think we've had a couple comments like that too, where somebody's asked if we're just, if we're just some weirdo or some, something like, we're not weirdos, but someone who just likes eating vegan food. And I don't know, maybe I guess we are sort of somebody who just likes eating vegan food. Uh, I, I don't know if that's all that terrible though. I don't think eating vegan food's bad, but I think I started saying a little bit ago and I totally got off topic, but since I've been diagnosed as diabetic, I'm eating more whole foods than I've ever eaten my entire life. I eat fresh vegetables more than I more now than I've ever eaten in my entire life. Um, my mom was not big on fresh vegetables; she just wasn't. Um, not, not that she was against them per se, but she just wasn't really big on them. I don't know if it was because they go bad super fast, or she just didn't want to fight us kids, force us to eat them. Um, I think you should take a little prep time. Yeah. So. I mean. But where I was going with that is that I'm eating, I'm eating a lot healthier now than I've ever eaten in my life. I used to eat, a, even when I was vegetarian, I was eating a lot of processed foods still. Um, junk food. Hmm? Not junk food, but... Well, vegan junk food. What? I was eating a lot of junk food. Um, but, with that said... <clears throat> We wanted to talk a little bit about the future of our channel. No. Um, I think I touched on this in one of the last two videos when I did it by myself. And I said that, you know, we've been around for three years. And um, we hit a thousand subscribers on April 1st of 2018. So that was literally two years and two weeks when we hit a thousand subscribers. We're right now, as of today, I think at 1178. Yeah. So in the last year, we've only had 170 something, 175, 180 subscribers join right. us. Now, I don't know if that's just that people have gotten bored with us and they think we're boring now, which could 100% be the case because, you know, our lives are pretty boring. We right. kind of work, we eat, we sleep, right? and that's about it. Yeah. Um, we, we aren't traveling all over the place. We aren't doing amazing things. We aren't jumping off buildings or roofs <laughs> or, you know. We're, maybe I, maybe we're boring. I think um, you would do it. You're up for that. Oh, I do. I'd be up for it. But um, maybe you, you know, maybe YouTube's not uh, showing people our content. I don't know. Or maybe YouTube is not recommending our content. I don't know. No. Um, I have yet to really figure out YouTube's algorithm. Um, after doing this for three years, I have no clue. And it doesn't help that they constantly are changing it either. Um, but um, pretty much what I'm, where I'm going is that we are going to stop posting 100% vegan content. Yeah. We are going to be changing our, our channel name to OmniZ. Just OmniZ. We, to be quite honest with you, we've got a bunch of stuff to taste test. We have down here on the floor beside me, we have a whole box of non-perishable food that we bought for taste test videos. Right. 
in the freezer we've got a, sh a whole sh we have a stand-up freezer we have a whole shelf and then a half a shelf of nothing but vegan food right. um most of most of that is taste test video some of it is just food we eat on a regular basis like um Gardein. Uh, Gardein uh, products. We got, I think we might Beyond have some, some veggie bubble burgers in there. Right. Uh, the Beyond Meat burgers, that sort of thing. Right. And then we also have, yeah, the ground ground stuff. Ground yeah. round. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of stuff. So, we will be continuing to post vegan taste test videos for the next several weeks. Possibly months. I think what I might do is just post two taste test videos a week. Um, we're not going to be doing vegan mukbangs anymore. This is going to be our last vegan mukbang. So if you've enjoyed our mukbangs, thank you for being with us. Um, it's been an interesting ride. Yeah. And um, it, this channel has done a lot for me, for us. If I had to say anything, it's done a lot for Nicholas. Yeah. More than any of the rest of us in this family. When we started this channel, Nick wouldn't eat anything. No. I mean, Nick Nick barely... Like, he had like four meals that he would eat, and that's it. Four, you're being generous. And... Two. There were two meals that could be eaten. And... And once we started this channel and did all those taste tests, he has broadened and now he will eat, he will try just about anything. Yeah, including just this morning, he tried my cinnamon coffee. Um, but. Because he smelled the cinnamon and he likes cinnamon. He does like cinnamon, yeah. But we just, I think one of the turning points is not only my diet change because when we used to do mukbangs, we used to do like garlic pasta, garlic butter pasta. We would have like twice a month or yeah. something like that, you know. And we would have um, very car, very high carb, carb, very carby foods. Yep. And I just can't eat those anymore. Nope. And the vegan food that is not as high carb is extremely expensive. Um, we just did our taxes for 2018 and um, I'll, I'll be honest, we made $117 off of YouTube in 2018. And that's not just this channel, right? That was, um, yeah, that, that was this channel plus uh, my other channel, but my other channel got demonetized so in, uh, in March when, in March 2018 when YouTube changed their algorithm or changed their rules for getting monetized. Um, <sighs> but yeah. we made $117 in 2018 on, on, on Easy Vegan. And we spent well over a thousand dollars just on trying new food, food new different. Now food. our taste test videos probably was closer to around six or seven hundred dollars, but when you add in there the foods that we eat for the mukbangs, which we buy only to do a mukbang. Um, <sighs> Sorry, I just splashed myself the chocolate milk. Not well. That milk. Doesn't look like it. Oh, a little bit right there. Yeah, right there. But I can't wait. Financially, we've just, it's, it's become a burden on us financially yeah. and it has become, based on my diet changes because of my health issues. I don't have any care. Wednesday's down here. It has become more and more difficult for us to film what I ate in a days and mukbangs. Right. Those have become, ex become extremely difficult for us to film on a regular basis. Um, Primarily because of my diet changes um, and the foods that I can eat and the fact that I'm watching my calories too. Right. Like I'm making sure I'm not eating too many calories because my goal is to lose weight Stinky. to assist with my diabetes, diabetes management. Right. Um, so the low carb mixed with my calorie restrictions and I'm not like I don't like using that word because I'm not eating like 500 calories a day. I'm eating 1500 calories a day, <clears throat> sometimes more. If I'm hungry, I'll eat more, but I'm eating 1500 calories a day. So I'm not like super restrictive. My basal meta metabolic rate, just my resting rate, I should be eating about 18 to 1900 calories. So I'm not like going crazy under underneath what I should be at just to maintain, right. um, but enough so that I will lose. Um, but 
it, it's just become to a point that it's just too difficult to maintain making videos. Um, Neil's working basically full time now. He works over 30 hours a week, usually around 35 or more hours a week, and he's in school full time. Oh, he's not in full school full time. He's three three classes this semester, but he's not around very often. Um, he's off next Saturday. We're gonna we're gonna hopefully film a bunch of taste test videos all in one day. So a lot of the remaining taste test videos that you're gonna be seeing coming from us, we're probably gonna be dressed in or look about the same um, because we're gonna be filming a bunch of them all in one day. Um, but I don't know. I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is I. I feel like we've had some people be here with us from the beginning. Yeah. Uh. And I feel almost like I'm letting you down. Um, there are a couple of you who still comment now who were commenting back in 2016. And Thank you. And I feel like I'm letting you guys down, but I have to do what's best for my health. I am about to turn 40. I'll be 40 at the end of March. And I want to be healthy for my family, for my eventual grandkids. Um, I want to be healthy and I can't ignore my health anymore and I have to do what's best for my health. And I know a lot of you would probably comment and say, vegan is what's best for your health. But it, that wasn't really working for me. And I was trying. I mean, we had been doing vegan for a year and a half before I was diagnosed as diabetic. Yeah. And we were eating vegan like three nights a week, three days a week. You know, we were eating vegan half the time. Um, anyway, I guess what I, what I want to say is, is that we're changing our, our name to Omni's Eat. Um, we are eating, I am eating low carb and I, I mean, a lot of, I, I know you guys don't see the behind the scenes stuff, but a lot of the effort on this channel comes from me. Uh, John's been helping me out a lot lately with what I ate in a days because of my diet changes. I've been having difficulties keeping on top of what I ate in a days. So this week you're going to see a what I ate in a day from John. Um, but that's going to be the last what I ate in a day we post, um, at least for now. Um, because... I've pretty much gotten into a rhythm of eating the same things almost every single day. And even being vegetarian is easy for me on a low carb diet. I can eat vegetarian. Um, again, a lot of that goes back to the eggs and the dairy. I can eat vegetarian and be low carb. Being full-blown vegan and being low-carb is not as easy for me. I know that there are people who do it, yeah. but it's not easy for me because a, a lot of the foods that are lower-carb are foods that I don't particularly like. Um, what? So, anyway, long story short, if you choose to stick around because you like us as a family or you like us as a you know source of personality or entertainment or whatever we would love to have you stick around like i said we're probably gonna be posting um like two taste tests a week not this week this week will be regular <sighs> programming monday tuesday wednesday um but after this week you're going to be seeing vegan taste tests for probably about a month or two um and then come summer i don't know what we're gonna do i don't know if we're gonna just start showing more of the foods we're eating every day and have it be our low carb foods um we don't know. maybe we'll go back into doing some mukbangs with our low carb foods um john's <coughs> not entirely low carb no he's pretty much eating like he always did um except his dinners because we eat the same dinner every night um but you know maybe maybe we'll start doing low carb taste tests maybe we'll start doing um I'm, I'm getting some snack boxes that have low carb snacks in them um that i might start doing some unboxings of that snack box um A snack box unboxing so i mean i don't know um but all i can say is is that we uh after after march we will no longer be omnizy vegan 
and if you choose to stick around because you like our content that's great we will we will we will post in the name that it's a vegan taste test for every vegan taste test right <clears throat> anything that's anything that's vegan we will put in the title of the video that it's vegan anything that's not vegan will not have vegan in the title right. so if you get triggered by seeing animal products you know I, the titles of our videos will be very clear that it's either vegan or not vegan vegetarian um well so you know if, if you want to watch our videos and you're willing to watch just the vegan videos like i said they will be labeled as vegan um if you just come back to watch our content what honey if you just come back to like watch us because you're curious as to what we're up to um i'm not I'm, unless it says vegan in the title, it will be non-vegan foods. Um, it might be vegetarian foods, it might be eggs or dairy. Um, occasionally we might be doing some meat as well. Um, but that's, that's just where we're heading. Um, and I feel like I let a lot of people down. Hmm. But I do have to do what's best for my health. Yeah. So. If this is the last time we're seeing you, um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for three years. If you stick around, we'd love to have you. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Hopefully we will uh, see some of you guys on the other side. And if not, it was, it was a pleasure. So, anyhow, um, I will plan to leave the comment section open uh, if we start to get comments that are extremely negative. Um, I might have to shut down the comment section because I'm hoping that people understand that this is for health reasons and not because of um, our disagreement with the vegan diet or anything. If you do you. <laughs> You know, you do what's best for you. And if you eat vegan, I commend you for that. I said that in last week's video or the week before is that um, I commend anybody who eats who eats this way. It's not easy. Um, but I can't I can't keep up with the content anymore. Um, not with not with my diet changes and not with what's best for me. So um, if you stick around, uh, we would love to have you. If not, that I'm sorry that, that you will have to say goodbye. So if you like this video, hit like, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, hit subscribe. I mean, I guess if you, if you would like to unsubscribe, you can do that too. Um, it's been fun. Yeah. So until next time, thank you for watching Omni's Eat. <laughs> And we'll see you on the next video if you decide to come back. So, bye.